Prior to surgery, you will undergo a complete preoperative evaluation, which includes intraocular measurements of your eye, which allow us to select a lens specific for you, and a dilated examination to assess the overall health of the eye. On the day of surgery, once you arrive at the office, a staff member will take you to an examination room where you will receive dilating and anesthetic drops. You will also receive an oral or IV relaxation medication. Once your eye is dilated, you will be taken to the surgery suite where you lay down on a bed. The surgery team will prep you for surgery. This involves cleaning in and around the eye and placing a sterile drape over your face with adequate room to breathe. We protect your lashes and place a special lid holder in the eye to keep it open during surgery. During the procedure, you may experience mild pressure, but no pain. In RLE surgery, I make a small 2.4 millimeter opening in the eye and use an ultrasound unit to break up and remove the natural lens from the eye. If you choose to have laser-assisted RLE surgery, the laser will do certain steps of the procedure for me. This includes making a central opening in the capsule of the lens, softening the lens, and sometimes making small incisions in the cornea to correct small amounts of astigmatism. Once the lens is removed, an intraocular lens, or IOL, is placed into the shell in which your old lens sat. On the day of surgery, your vision will likely be blurred, and you may see various colors, typically red, from the microscope light. You may experience burning and stinging for the first 24 to 48 hours as the incision heals. Some RLE patients see sharply the next day, while others may experience blurred vision for a few days to weeks, depending on the density of their lens at the time of removal and the amount of postoperative inflammation they have. You will follow up the next day, then usually a week or two later in our office or with your optometrist. Antibiotic, steroid, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drops are used for three to four weeks after surgery. After surgery, you will be discharged home. Patients are typically on topical medications for four weeks after surgery to prevent infection and control post-operative inflammation. After surgery, you can return to most of your normal activities. We recommend no heavy lifting, bending head over the waist, or straining for the first one and a half weeks after surgery. Additionally, we ask that you please refrain from swimming pools, hot tubs, jacuzzis, or water sports for two weeks after surgery to reduce infection risk.